Three five hundred years ago, ancient Egypt had a pregnancy test, and it actually worked. In the year 1550 BCE, Egyptian physicians recorded one of history's earliest medical procedures in a text known as the Ebers Papyrus. Among treatments for diseases, cures, and surgical techniques, it described a pregnancy test that modern researchers were shocked to discover had scientific accuracy. The method was simple. A woman would urinate on barley and emmer wheat seeds for several days. The papyrus stated, if the barley grows, it means a male child. If the emmer grows, it means a female. If neither grows, she is not pregnant. For centuries, this sounded like superstition. But in 1963, scientists tested the same method in a laboratory. They found that urine from pregnant women really does accelerate seed germination because of hormonal changes, especially rising estrogen levels. The Egyptians didn't know the word hormone, but they observed patterns, recorded them, and trusted the results. And astonishingly, they were partly right. A pregnancy test from 3,500 years ago may not predict a baby's gender, but it can show pregnancy better than chance. A reminder that ancient civilizations understood more about the human body than history often gives them credit for.